This work is titled Flow Drone, Wind Estimation and Gust Rejection on UAVs Using Fast Response Hotwire Flow Sensors. In this work, we integrate a fast and accurate flow sensor onto a UAV platform. The sensor is the MAST, or MEMS Anemometry Sensing Tower, a convection-based omnidirectional flow sensor that uses five MEMS hotwire sensing elements to estimate a wind vector in two dimensions. By integrating the MAST onto a quadrator UAV, we create Flow Drone, an experimental platform for wind aware control using real-time wind estimates. We train our wind-aware controller using reinforcement learning in the Jim Pybullet Drone Simulator with simulated wind and aerodynamic drag. Over 30 flights on the Flow Drone platform, we demonstrate the stronger performance of our wind-aware controller, shown in blue, over two wind-unaware baselines. Here, the drone seeks to maintain a hover position despite a 5 meter per second gust in the positive x direction. Shown below are the raw and filtered wind estimates measured in flight and used by the wind-aware controller. On the right, we show the trajectories of all 30 flights. Wind aware control reduces error in maintaining a hover position. In the following overlaid video of representative trials, the wind aware case is the most opaque, followed by the two baselines. This work is motivated by the potential for UAV platforms to transform numerous industries, including infrastructure inspection and repair, search and rescue, and package delivery. In each case, drones must be able to perform reliably in real-world weather conditions, including extreme wind. This is no easy task, as demonstrated in this video, where a typical consumer UAV struggles to maintain a position set point during a windy day at the beach. The wind introduces complex spatial and temporal phenomena. As background, modern multirotor drones do not directly sense airflow. Instead, the presence of wind is inferred indirectly, for example, using IMU measurements. Conventional sensors, such as pitot tubes, are too slow, insensitive, or bulky to be suitable as an onboard omnidirectional flow sensor. Our hypothesis in this work is that the ability to directly measure airflow will lead to significant improvements in UAV performance. The sensor onboard flow drone uses the MEMS hot wire, which consists of four platinum wire arrays arranged in a Wheatstone bridge. One of these arrays, the bottom left, is exposed to the flow, allowing the flow speed to be related to a measured voltage through differential cooling, much like a conventional hot wire anemometer. The MAST, or MEMS anemometry sensing tower, places five MEMS hot wires into the flow. A neural network sensor model estimates wind speed and direction from the five MAST voltages. The mast's accuracy from a wind tunnel calibration across 360 degrees and from 0 to 5 meters per second is 1.6 degrees and 0.14 meters per second. For more details, including a comparison to existing anemometry techniques, please refer to our preprint available online. We integrate the mast onto a quadrator UAV to create Flow Drone, a platform capable of fast and accurate omnidirectional anemometry. As proof of concept, we flew Flodron around the lab in still air and related the wind estimate of the relative wind to the ground truth velocity from onboard optical flow sensing. The results are shown in the plot on the right. Our goal in control is to demonstrate the performance improvement provided by the sensor. To do so, we compare the performance of wind aware control with two baselines, known as baseline and wind unaware. While wind aware has access to the wind estimate, wind unaware and baseline have no flow sensor. Wind and aware and wind aware are then trained using reinforcement learning in simulated wind. The differences between wind and aware and wind aware thus directly evidence the benefits of wind measurement. Baseline is an attitude PID controller based on the popular open source PX4 autopilot. This attitude controller sends a body rate and thrust set point to the rate controller and mixer. Wind and aware learns a residual policy that adds a body rate and thrust set point to the output of baseline. This allows wind unaware to learn and improve upon baseline in simulated wind. Finally, wind aware learns a residual policy that has access to the wind estimate, VWind, in training and test time. In hardware, VWind comes from the mast readings and sensor model. To learn both residual based controllers, we used the Jim Pybullet drones environment. We added a wind model, which simulated wind based on in flight measurements, and a drag force model, which simulated both bluff body and induced drag on the vehicle. Reinforcement learning was conducted on a hover task with randomized initial positions and orientations. Our policies were trained with soft factor critic over 10 million total simulation time steps. Our controllers run on a Raspberry Pi companion computer, which takes in the mast readings at 220 Hz and a state estimate at 100 Hz. The sensor model and residual policy output a control input to the Pixhawk 4 autopilot at 40 Hz, which handles the rate control and mixing. Our hardware experiment consisted of the flow drone and hover, 
with a 5 meter per second gust generated by six high power blower fans four meters away. We conducted 10 flights per controller. As shown in this overlay video, where wind aware is the most opaque, wind aware outperforms both wind unaware baselines in maintaining a hover position. In addition to having the smallest deviation from gust and the smallest variance in hover position, as shown at the beginning, wind aware also performed the best in terms of max error, mean squared error, and overall range across the trajectory. The Flowtron platform clearly demonstrates that wind aware control provides a substantial performance improvement over wind unaware baselines and that the mast flow sensor is effective in estimating gusts in flight for wind aware control. Finally, I would like to acknowledge the efforts of the co-authors on this project, as well as our funding sources, the AFOSR, NSF, and Princeton's Project X. Thank you.